Now we will examine fluids. And a fluid is essentially anything that flows. So a fluid may be air, water, or molasses. There are about five equations regarding fluids that you absolutely must memorize. Very important equations. The first is that of specific gravity. The specific gravity of a substance is simply the density of that substance over the density of water. Sounds like a simple def definition, but this is a commonly used uh, concept on the exam, that of specific gravity. So it's the density of a substance over the density of water. We will see later why this concept is so important and its application is important. Of course, you should have memorized the density of water, which everyone thinks of one. But uh, what is the units for that? The units for the density of water is grams per cc, or grams per centimeter cubed, or grams per milliliter. That's all the same. You should also know the density of water in kilograms per meter cubed, because that often commonly comes up on the MCAT exam. You can determine that by dimensional analysis, by looking at the units and converting the units appropriately, or you can memorize that the density of water in kilograms per meter cubed is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. The next equation that's very important to memorize is the equation regarding pressure, and that is simply that pressure is force per unit area. So it's the force per unit area. Next, fluids which are static, which means say that you have a cup of water or, or you're looking at a pool or whatever and you would like to know what is the change of pressure from one position to another position in that fluid. Well that change in pressure as you go from one spot to another would be dependent upon the density of the fluid, which is symbolized by the Greek letter rho, the density of the fluid, the gravity, because certainly the pressure would be different on Earth as it would be on the Moon, so rho g, and on the depth or height that you're moving within the fluid, delta h. Change in pressure is equal to rho g delta h. Very important equation. Next, let us look at the equations of fluids in motion.